we at the Exxon Project wish to empower the community. The way that we do this is by creating an e-payment solution that allows the population to use fiat currencies and virtual currencies interchangeably. And we are also underpinned by real businesses generating real revenues, real profits. And the main thing that we have is an infrastructure project that underpins the region and allows us to reach out to 400 million people, many of whom are unbanked or underbanked at the moment. What Axon is, is a, a token um, that serves everyone from the unbanked to the digital nomad. Uh, it has multiple uses and it's built on two streams, one virtual and one bricks and mortar. Uh, the virtual is the wallet and the transaction piece and the bricks and mortar is based on office space um, and a data cable that's going in uh, that connects the whole ASEAN region. Our token will increase in value because we'll be using part of our business profit to purchase off from the secondary market. By reducing the supply, it will increase the value. Secondly, by bringing in more and more business offerings and community members, the natural selection of increased products and services will enable the increase in value. The key challenge here is that your token becomes known and to do that you have to solve problems and you have to provide experiences that everyone needs. And for us that means building a variety of community uses for the token, which gives us three different types of customer. First of all, you've got the entrepreneur using the token to get discounts and loyalty on office space and the business systems that make his life easier. And secondly, you've got the unbanked, our range of simplified financial services that enables the unbanked to use digital payment services for the first time. And thirdly, you've got the digital nomads or investors um, who can support a token uh, that is centered around a smart card, which gives them massive convenience and cost effectiveness in the new crypto age. Yeah, so there's, there's quite a few token sales and ICOs uh, happening also in the pipeline in Singapore and elsewhere. But simply said, there isn't an other ICO that allows us to access 400 million potential customers. Um, so there's a lot of ICOs that uh, do a lot of different things, but this makes us really unique, the uh, distribution network, uh, allowing us to, to reach the, uh, the unbanked and other consumers as well. There are a lot of co-working spaces uh, out there. It's a huge opportunity, the market is growing, uh, there's an oversubscription of three to one, and the co-working spaces are out there, but what we offer are back office services in the co-working space, offering the service to the entrepreneur. That makes us really unique. Uh, and what I really like about the blockchain is that it decentralizes and it democratizes a lot of uh, the, the projects that are and institutions that we know now. Um, and especially our token is very focused on a very broad range of customers. So not only the digital savvy people and entrepreneurs, but also people that are underprivileged right now. And I think that's actually the true potential of the, of the blockchain. We offer investors a unique opportunity to be part of a project where we will create one common standard interface for the community underpinned by blockchain technology where we will serve all people from the digital nomad to the unbanked.